Hey guys, now I'm gonna give it back here for the video, guys. Welcome back to uh, my no clip retrospective series where we take a look at Madden 22, Madden 23, and Madden 24 to see how much these stadiums have changed over the last couple of years. Obviously, EA claims listen, we don't just do a roster update, we actually update everything. And this is actually really weird right now. Because normally when I... Oh, okay, never mind. This is going. Okay, I didn't realize this was going. I was going to say the fans usually do not move when, you know, I have it paused. And they were moving. So it kind of got weird for me. But they claim they do more than just a roster update. So in this series, we kind of look back at older Maddens uh, versus current Madden and how much things have changed. Today, we're looking at the Miami Dolphins Stadium. So we're we'll looking at Madden 22, then Madden 23. And then Madden 24. So starting off right away, bro. Uh, this is easily the most detailed locker room I think we have seen. Just because like different segments or different parts of this locker room. We have not seen a locker room like this so far in any locker room here. And again, we are today in Miami Dolphins Hard Rock Stadium's um locker room here and wow is this detailed is all heck i'm very surprised okay this goes to nothingness but at least it's something i mean usually we don't see like corridors or long areas i hope in 24 this is like improved and like maxed out it would look so cool if that's like even more detailed in 24 I got a feeling it won't be, just knowing EA, but come on EA. I'm going to tell you right now, this would be the most dope stadium, is if in 24, the game it should be the most maxed out in, it becomes as maxed out as it should be. But we'll have to wait and see until we get to 24 later in this video. I don't know, you know what, I'm going to have faith. I'm going to have faith in EA Sports here. That they're going to give us something good here. I'm going to have faith. This is my little faith I have. Is that the reflections in the Madden mirrors. In every Madden is absolute dog water. <laughs> it's absolute dog water when you look at reflections in any Madden. It's just so bad. I, I don't know why EA Sports messes it up so bad. But instead of just like having no glass at all. They... Reflect out to like a nothingness parking lot. It's like, bro, nobody, like, that doesn't even look realistic. And now again, no one's gonna see it other than me and whoever watches my content, but still. I mean, just look. If you're gonna add it anyway, why not just do that, you know? Like, you don't even have to add the windows and reflection at all, so might as well, if you're going to, just make it look good, man. Okay? That's all I ask, EA. That's all I ask. Anyway, we have the women's bathroom, sideline snacks. So we actually have probably the most detailed vendors system up here. Probably the most out of any stadium. This is so... This stadium just looks so cool. Okay, hold up. I don't remember it looking this cool in 24. And out of all the stadiums we have looked at, this is definitely the most detailed stadium. Like, overall-wise, most detailed stadium, 1,000%. And it actually looks pretty freaking dope. Not gonna lie to you. Um, dang, man. I'm actually excited to look at this in 24 now. I mean, I've already looked at... By the way, guys, in case you are new, I've already looked at all these stadiums in 24 in my no clip series. This is my retrospective series. So this is my second um, time looking at these stadiums in 24. You're gonna see later in this video. So again, like I said, if you want a detailed look of Hard Rock Stadium, I mean a very, very detailed every single square inch of this map look, check out my No Clip series it's on the channel. You can actually, uh, there's a playlist on the channel if you like to check it out. You can actually see every little detail of this stadium and any other stadium in the NFL. I did complete every single stadium. I also went ahead and looked at some other stadiums like practice facilities, um, you know, franchise mode facility stadiums. Whenever you like, you know, trend or you go to a different location in franchise mode, all that kind of stuff. So I looked at England, London. Um, I know, I think it was also Germany. 
So yeah, all that on the channel. If you are interested, you can check it out. Uh, we went through a lot of no clip series this year so far. And to be honest, this looks actually really dope. Like I gotta give EA Sports props on this because none of this area, can you, you can't see any of this area from inside the stadium or even with the little intro, but they still have it all in here. And this might be, again, like I said, the most dopest stadium I've ever seen. I love how the reflection right there just shows literally the, um, it shows the field. Like, how would that even be possible, EA? But you know what? Don't ask questions. I always say at this point now, I don't always say this, but I'm saying this a lot more now. <sighs> you know, I'm going to give EA the W's with the W's are due, man. And if they're going to, if they're going to take a little bit of W's here, I guess we just got to be happy with the W's we get. All right. So hold up. I'm not trying to give people like absolutely make them throw up here, but I'm trying to see underneath to make sure we're not missing anything. I don't think we're missing anything here. All right. So now we have the parking lot. By the way, guys, I also got a new haircut. As you guys can see, my hair was like crazy long for the longest time. Now it's uh, crazy short. So it's a little bit different, which is, you know, nice. But it is colder out. So now I can't go outside. <laughs> Now I uh, can't go outside, so I'm going to have to just produce like 17 videos a day for you guys on these, on all five of my channels. Four of my channels. Kind of forgot how many channels I have. All right, so we have a lot of neighborhoods out here. Now, this is typical of 22. There's a lot of, you know, just pretty much outside area. Like EA with 22, if you're new to the series, you can go back and watch it. But there is so much outside you know, stadiums, buildings, everything in 22. 22 had the craziest, biggest maps humanly possible. Then 23 hit. And everything got smaller. Then 24 hit. And everything got even smaller than 23. Which is uh, pretty much how that all works. By the way, all out there, that's just all 2D textures. So this is nothing really that crazy. Uh, and, and for anyone who's asking or going to ask this, I'm using a mod to do this. So, I this is the mod I created myself. So, just a little side note here. I know a lot of people ask, like, how can I do this? Well, first off, this is Modding Madden. Right now, Modding Madden is, like, broken. EA completely broke it. Um, but also, Modding Madden, well, it is still technically possible. It's a long, difficult process, and you have to create the mods yourself. So... There, are, there is a modding, uh, Madden modding community Discord, uh, but these mods I show my videos for the most part, not all, but most of them, I do myself personally. And again, like I said, just kind of what I do. I know some people, you know, you can also look at the mods on the, on the Discord, and they do a great job too. I just kind of like to do my own mods sometimes. And yeah, so that's kind of a rundown right there. So let's go ahead and get into 23. One second, guys. Madden 23. Please tell me that the locker rooms get better in 23 and 24 because I was actually excited in 22 for the first time ever in the locker room. I should, I, I shouldn't say that because so far they had one locker room that was actually updated and really cool in 24, but the rest of them was kind of mid. So it looks like it's exactly the same as 22. I don't really see much of a difference in 23 here. Uh, I mean, maybe those panels on the wall are a little bit different, but that's pretty much that. And then this side, yeah, so it should be just being copy and paste of the other side, which is pretty much, yeah, I don't see a difference. This looks a lot like 22 in every humanly way possible. Okay, I mean, maybe, again, they like said maybe 24 is different, you know? Maybe 24 is just going to be something special. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. We'll have to wait and see. But it, let me see if there's anything different inside this area here. So the suites look pretty much the same. Um, obviously, the walk around area here isn't until you get to the outside of the stadium, which is over here, which uh, let's go ahead and go through here. Looks like the same exact vendors, kind of the same concept. When it comes to like you know the um vending areas here now as you guys can see there is a little bit of it in like there's a little lip 
outside of this this is something that 23 does a lot and i don't know i don't remember 22 had this but i know 23 a lot of what they upgrade so that's add which i know is small and little and minuscule but they add some depth to some of the vendors they do this in a lot of different note when i know clip through a lot of stadiums they'll add like this little lip right here and that's their big update like that's their big you know look at us we did this we actually updated it and yeah so i know this is like you know something that they do a lot so whenever i see the little lip thing i'm like okay you guys uh that's your big thing you do you add the lip thingy okay so we got the westgate right here um seeing we got also got that same you know grand plaza concept going on there we got miami dolphins it looks like a little sign says hard rock cafe or hard rock stadium not cafe my bad we have southgate bam the miami Dolphins. this is such a humongous stadium too i mean it's a beautiful stadium don't get me wrong it's just a humongous one look at that bad boy it's a beautiful stadium not gonna lie to you, there's not many stadiums I find that I look at and I'm like, that's just a gorgeous looking stadium. This is definitely a gorgeous looking stadium. We have the little Hard Rock Stadium right there. So again, very similar to 22. I'm not seeing like any major difference when I look at this. Obviously, we're doing kind of a quick glance over. But, you know, for the most part, I mean, what we're looking at is pretty much the exact same as 22. Um... Alright, so let's actually go up here. Okay, nothing up here. Let me actually... Where's the area that's open? Am I crazy? I thought... Oh, no, it was over here. This is what I was thinking about. Okay, it's the same as 22. It's the same as 22. Now, again, like I said, 23 usually has a smaller outside of the map, which is usually um, a little bit, you know, less detailed. But, again, the inside usually is more detailed. So, how much smaller is the map is the question. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look that bad. Not that much smaller. It might be the same exact size. I, I feel like it is definitely smaller. But it's not smaller by much. Like, if it is smaller, it's not insanely smaller. If that makes sense. Because we still have all the neighborhoods around the stadium, which we had before. And I don't think that... Yeah, it's not too crazy smaller. It might be a tiny bit. 24 should definitely be smaller. Now, for 24, I have to go through my whole entire workaround method to get to 24. Again, like I said, EA banned all mods with the most recent update to 24. So, there's a whole entire process now to even mod 24. So, guys, one second. Madden 24. Man... I'm trying to look at like the outside looking in here at the tunnel. Okay, wait, hold up. This is a lot brighter. It looks better inside. Okay, the roof looks better. The ceiling looks a lot better. I'm actually excited about the ceiling. Okay, I don't. I never thought I'd say this in a Madden video game. The ceiling looks good. Like, but the ceiling does look good. Is this tunnel smaller? Okay, hold up. I'm actually lost in this tunnel. Okay, so this area right here, right? I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's lighter textures, okay? And that's another thing that Madden 24 does really good at, is adding lighter textures to the game when it comes to the tunnel. It doesn't look that bad. All right, let me see this one. Okay, we got some side things going on here. Very creepy, kind of saw-like textures on the outside here. Um, that was weird. Just kind of fell into a black box completely. Yeah, I mean, no, this side is completely dark. Okay, this is just like SoFi Stadium. Why, EA? Why are you like this? So, what we're getting here, guys, is 24 is just... No, no, this side is actually detailed and textured and better than 22. And 23. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So, that side is good, right? This side is better, okay. This side is also, maybe not. 
This might be the same as 22 and 23. So SoFi Stadium, the big thing about it was the one tunnel was fixed where they have like the presentation of the players coming on the field and everything else was exactly the same. I got a weird feeling that this is going to be the exact same concept EA. Um, now, one thing they do with 24 a lot is they actually put like fans in like areas where, you know, you would have concession areas where people would buy food. It's, su it's just such a random addition that they do because like it literally doesn't make any sense to do it. I mean, you have fans who are supposed to be watching your game and at the game and now they are the concession people like selling food, but they're fans. Clearly they're fans. So not actually because they have the same models all the way around the stadium of different people. Uh, it's it's a weirdest thing with 24. So also 24 just adds like a thousand more people to the every single inch. Like when they said they have next gen Madden, the whole point was just them adding just a bunch of like people all the way around. But we have Northgate here, Hard Rock Stadium. I should let me see something real fast. There we go. Okay, I was like kind of confused right there. I had to remove the um, texture right there. All right, so we got sideline snacks inside here. Okay, let's see what else we got inside here. Oh, nothing really. It is it, again. It's very much the same as Man 20. Wait, what's up with the ground here? You see how I see this ground texture? Okay, that's just weird looking. It looks like the ground's like, like they copied and pasted the ground into this world. Which, I mean, it's, it's possible they did that. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say it's actually not something that they did. It's very possible that EA just did that exact concept. But, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's definitely weird looking. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I mean... Man, I was kind of really hoping 24 would be so much different. I was really hoping 24 would be like so much more detailed. And I feel like I, I fall into this trap every single time. And as you can see, yeah, the, the map is so much smaller. I mean, we literally are automatically at this 2D texture world. By the way, this is what this what I'm talking about before. It's just a 2D texture on the outside. It's not actually buildings. But yeah, no, 24 is just literally 20. It's just the same thing as 22. Same thing as 23. And same thing as 24. <laughs> Next gen Madden on PC, man. EA said, nah. Or is this going to give you the same thing as 23 and 22 is? The only difference we're going to give you is more crowds out there and more fans out there. And we're going to go ahead and give you some... What's it called? We're going to give you a smaller world and one detailed tunnel. <laughs> Welcome to Man 24. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I mean, overall-wise, again, Hard Rock Stadium, very cool stadium in Madden. Overall, you know, great stadium. Just sucks that EA kind of took an L when it comes to upgrading these teams throughout the years. But I'll see you guys next one.